Beijing, I felt like I was seconds from throwing up. Lifting my leg to the next uneven step took just about all of the, diminished, lower body strength I had. I was warned the century-old steps of the Great Wall were steep. But I wasn't expecting this steep. My layers of clothing certainly didn't help. I felt the weight of my shirt, two sweaters, scarf, hat, fleece lined leggings under my jeans, and winter coat. It was hovering around 25 degrees outside, but I was sweating like it was 80. Once I got to the first landing, the views of the snowy mountains from the highest parts of the wall took my breath away. I wasn't supposed to be here. In China? Yes. On this centuries-old fortress? No. I'm part of the four-person NPR team that traveled to Beijing to cover the 2022 Winter Olympics. Before arriving we were told there would be no going out. No visiting tourist spots. No going for a famous Peking duck dinner at a neighborhood restaurant. Our experience of China would be limited to what we got to see inside our closed loop. This strict quarantine bubble is meant to keep COVID-19 from spreading to the larger Chinese population. It's also meant to keep the Olympic athletes and tens of thousands of people working these games safe. People are only allowed to shuttle from their hotels, the press center, and various Olympic venues on specially designated buses and trains. There is no mixing or mingling with the regular population. Locked fences and other barriers surround these venues and the hotels. Security officers stand guard, preventing anyone from coming into this bubble or going into the city at large. Covering these games and witnessing history, like Nathan Kim's gold medal winning performance, has been a once in a lifetime opportunity. That is unless you are NPR's Tom Goldman and the 2022 Winter Games are your 14th time covering the competition.